Hello guys, we're back looking at the Volvo A40D again this week and in the previous video you seen that the motor didn't really work so what we're going to do is remove uh, the fixed axle that we've had with the original motor get rid of the motor itself I'll remove these mounting points for the axle there and replace this with a 3D printed piece that will hold two N20 motors back to back inside the body of the model here or, well actually it's external to the body so once I have these two motors in place here I'll be able to uh, remove this motor from inside and that'll free up a lot of space in the front of the model because the motor gearbox enclosure inside the model is actually taking up pretty much the whole of the inside of the model except this small piece at the front where the electronics used to be So the first thing I need to do is remove the motor and its uh, gears that are sticking out of here. Cut away these uh, previous axle mounting points and then I'll 3D print a base piece that's going to go in here. So we'll skip ahead to when I have the 3D printed piece. Okay so here's my solution. This was the piece that we originally had that went like that. There used to be the two pieces there for holding the axle so I got rid of those and I 3D printed this little piece to hold two N20 motors and you can see it has holes here to line up with these two uh, posts uh, for, the, for the two bolts now we have another little piece that goes on the bottom just just closes up the, the bottom piece a bit like that and that then just sits in place like that and now I can just screw that in using the original bolt holes for this um, piece here. So hopefully that's going to work. I need to put my uh, wires on the motors first and wire them through. I left a hole here for the wires to come through. They will go through this piece of the model, then up where the gears used to go in this place. Follow the servo wires there and hopefully come out this same place alongside the servo wires. So that's how I'm going to get the motors working there. I'm going to change how I do this. So the in the front of the model I'm going to have uh, the normal motor driver and I'm going to have the front of the model act as if it is a tractor. So it's going to have exactly the same code as the Ford TW35. It will have the differential with the two uh, independent motor speeds. Uh, when we corner it will go at the different speeds to aid with the quartering. That should help the servo uh, out a lot uh, when we're trying to go round bends. So that's what's going to happen on the front of the model. But in the rear, what I'm going to do is treat it as if it's a trailer. So I'm going to put another uh, Arduino in the back of the model. And it will just take signals the same way a dump trailer would. And that will uh, then just raise the bed of the trailer and deal with the lights at the back of the model. Or raise the bed of the truck and deal with the lights at the back of the model. It's just going to act as if the rear of the model is a trailer and the Arduino in the front is going to act like the front is the tractor. So I think that would be the simplest way to do it. That means I only need four wires going back, the two UART wires and the two power wires going back to the rear of the model. And then that Arduino will look after that. So for today anyway, I'm just going to set this up as if it's a tractor. Uh, forget about the back completely, so we're going to lose the dumping function for the time being. But we should have much better drive in the front and we should have much better control. I'm going to try this uh, 3D printed piece here but it might not last all that well. It's already cracking. It uh, kind of curved up at the edges. wasn't a great print. But um, we'll give it a go for this little test and see how it goes. The next thing we need to do now is attach the wheels to our N20 motors. And to do that, what I did, and I think it's quite a simple solution, was to get some of this... A copper tubing here. I cut a little section of it off that would fit up through the hole in the middle of the, the wheel here. Then that meant that the uh, well, the outer diameter of the tube was kind of the diameter of um, this hole that's in the where the axle was. So it's around about four mil, and the inner diameter is roughly three millimeters. So now the motor fits a lot better inside there. Then what I did was drill a hole straight through uh, both the copper tube and the plastic and just put a little screw in through the 
hole that we just drilled so a screw like that screw that in so that when we push the motor in the little keyed piece of the motor the little flat side we can just screw the screw down on that flat side and that will hold the motor in position and that seems to be pretty good so I think that will work for uh, this model there's only one way to really know for sure and that's to put them on it and test it if they fall off we'll just have to come up with something else okay I have the truck back together I didn't bother putting the roof back on uh, all I have here is the electronics I have the two motors connected and the servo connected to the little um, control PCB exactly the same as the Ford TW35 all I did was change the servo limits for the steering because obviously they're not the same as the Ford so we should have no problem getting around this corner since we have a differential on the front of the model now so you can see there absolutely perfect control with our differential there that takes a huge amount of stress off the servo because it no longer has to uh, push the whole model around the wheels are actively pushing the model around themselves ok let's do the hill test we have yet to make it up this hill and I think we have enough power but I don't know if we'll be able to uh, pull the back end of the model up over the uh, the top of the ramp there I think we might actually get stuck um, because the weight will come off the front wheels I think but we'll give it a go oh no problem we flew up that we, we might have uh, had no trouble getting up at this time but if we had a full load in the model I definitely don't think we would have made it up but if we add all six drive motors in here, we should be pretty much able to climb anything uh, with these N20 motors. There is uh, plenty of power in them. I can already see that my wheels are starting to bow out. So obviously my plastic piece isn't strong enough. I'll have to um, just strengthen it up a little. The sides of it are quite thin and I didn't do a, a solid uh, print. I think I'll probably have to do a solid print. Okay, well that's a bit more progress made on the uh, Volvo dumper here. We have the two front motors, but I need to order another four for the back. So I think I'll just order uh, six or maybe two sets of six to uh, try different speeds maybe. But uh, I'm going to have to order those and that'll take a while to get here. So I think maybe in the next video I might look at adding some lights to it. Or maybe I'll look at some way of raising the bed because uh, obviously uh, this is um, the motor that's in here is just too light. It's never going to be able to lift any real load. So we'll have to replace that. So that's all I'm going to do today. If you like the video make sure and hit the like button. And if you have any comments or suggestions let me know below the video. And I think that's pretty much everything so thanks very much for watching.